Welcome to Wit UK. In today's video, we look into the contentious issue of migration and its impact on the UK. Is migration a symptom of broader societal issues, or is it a root cause of problems like the cost of living crisis? We'll also explore why genuine migrants want to come to the UK, challenging some common misconceptions. Migration, a symptom, not a cause. Migration should be viewed as a symptom of broader societal issues rather than a root cause. The high cost of living, healthcare challenges, and economic instability are not unique to the UK. They are global issues affecting many countries. Therefore, migration flows into the UK reflect these larger systemic problems rather than creating them. Misrepresentation of the UK The UK is often portrayed in media as an ideal destination which can lead to unrealistic expectations among potential migrants. Social media and television frequently highlight the UK's advanced technologies, professional workforce, excellent education, and clean streets. However, the reality can be quite different, leading to disappointment among many migrants once they arrive. The UK's asylum policies. The UK's asylum policies are often criticized for being too lenient, potentially allowing for abuse of the system. Everyone has the right to claim asylum, but this doesn't guarantee it will be granted. The application process involves a screening interview, which can take up to six months. During this time, asylum seekers are held in the UK for their protection. Critics argue that asylum seekers receive too much support while waiting for their applications to be processed. However, Data from the Home Office in 2023 shows that 55% of initial decisions on asylum applications were grants of asylum, humanitarian protection, or alternative forms of leave. This indicates a significant proportion of legitimate claims. Global Economic and Societal Challenges Economic and societal challenges are not unique to the UK. Countries worldwide are facing similar issues, including high living costs and social division. According to the International Monetary Fund IMF, global economic growth has slowed, and inflation rates have increased across many developed nations. This context is crucial for understanding why migrants might leave their home countries and seek better opportunities elsewhere. Migrants' dissatisfaction in the UK Many migrants express dissatisfaction with life in the UK due to high living costs, healthcare issues, and other factors. A survey conducted by the Office for National Statistics ONS, in 2023 revealed that 62% of migrants felt the cost of living in the UK was higher than expected, and 48% reported difficulties accessing healthcare services. Asylum Applications and Comparisons The latest Home Office data from 2023 indicates that there are 38,112 asylum seekers in the UK up from 35,099 in 2022. However, the UK ranks 16th out of the EU 28 for asylum applications per capita. In 2023, the UK received six asylum applications per 10,000 people, while the EU 28 average was 15 applications per 10,000 people. France, Germany, and Cyprus all have more asylum applicants than the UK. Reasons for choosing the UK The reasons asylum seekers choose the UK are complex and varied. Many are drawn to the UK because they speak English, have family or friends here, or perceive the UK as a safe, tolerant, and democratic country. A 2023 report by the British Red Cross found that 75% of asylum seekers cited language and existing connections as primary reasons for choosing the UK. Support for asylum seekers The EU mandates minimum conditions for asylum seekers, ensuring a certain quality of life across member countries. However, the UK provides less financial support than some neighbouring countries. According to Amnesty International, France gives asylum seekers the equivalent of £60 per week, compared to the UK's £40. This financial discrepancy suggests that asylum seekers are not primarily motivated by economic benefits. The UK does not have a disproportionate number of asylum seekers compared to other European countries, 
nor does it offer exceptional treatment. The perception of the UK as a desirable destination is influenced by language, existing personal connections, and historical ties. What do you think? Is the UK taking the right approach with migrants? Should the UK accept more people fleeing war and conflict? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of more videos on this topic.